So I, I can't really emphasize enough how important it is for you to twist your knobs. And what I mean by that is when you go into the other room later on, pre turn the things that are turnable, press the things that are pressable on the machine. You're not going to break the machine by doing it. You can't screw up a setting because you can always get back to the baseline. But twist them and press them as much as you can because you, you only get a sense of how far you can go with the machine. You only know when you've reached an edge until you've gone beyond the edge. Okay. So it's only until you've gone beyond your ability to actually visualize something that you can get back to it. The three main things that you have to, have to change every time you look at a structure is depth, frequency, and focus. This is your DFF, right? Terrasan does a great job of, of setting them up. So here's how they do it. They, they set them all up in a line for you. So you've got your depth, you've got your frequency, and you've got your focus right there, DFF. Look at that, my alignment's a little messed up here. But that should be there, okay, so your depth, is, this is going to make it um, more shallow. This is going to make it deeper. Your focus, this is going to raise the focus. This is going to lower the focus. And the higher frequencies can be achieved by pressing that up, and the lower frequencies can be achieved by pressing that down. So you only really know if you've optimized your pi picture by pressing each one of these little columns in, up or down. And if you're not exactly sure, just press it up and down. I mean, it's, it takes two seconds to do, and then that's the only way you really, really get a good sense of it. You want your depth to be about just right, not too deep and not too shallow. If you're studying something that's very superficial, you know, like if you're looking at the back of the thumb, you don't need four centimeters of depth because it's going to be right on the top of the screen and, and it, it, that's useless. Once you've uh, adjusted your depth, frequency, and focus, you want to go over to the gain, and that's your knob down over here. This one you can twist. The rest of them you, you're pressing. This one you twist. And when you, when you twist the gain, um, all that does is make it brighter or less bright. It's a, little, it's a little more developed than that. I mean, when I say all that does, um, there, there are some hardware and software correlates to gain, but um, suffice it to say that you want to play with your depth, frequency, and focus before you start twisting the gain. Once the depth, frequency, and focus are set, then you turn the gain to make it brighter or lower. And once you have the gain set the way you want, if on the screen the top is brighter than the bottom or the bottom is brighter than the top and you still want to adjust it again, you can play with the time gain compensation, and that's on the right there. That's the TGC kind of spilling over there. So the focus, right? so depth, focus, and frequency we've got. So the focus is going to be um, the narrowest part of the beam uh, where, it comes, where it comes together. And as you adjust it up, that narrow part gets a bit more superficial. And as you adjust it down, that narrow part gets a bit lower. And what that does is it gives you another form of improving your spatial resolution. But now you're looking at, instead of dots that are above and below that are close together and being able to discriminate them, you're looking at them side to side. So that is going to improve your spatial resolution as well, which is why it's so important to adjust it. And I mentioned the gain increases the brightness, and the time gain compensation will change one, one horizontal segment at a time. 